Good evening. My name is Doug Stern, and I'm the mayor of Rancho Palos Verdes, and we're here at the Bay Club because we've just broken ground on a major public works project to address the McCarroll Canyon storm drain. About three years ago, we were out here because we had a major flood come through here off of McCarroll Canyon. So we've now devised a plan, which we're breaking ground on, and I'm with the uh, director of public works, Jim Bell, and he can explain the project. Jim? About three years ago, uh, the city did face this uh, devastating flood, and uh, we actually in Public Works reviewed many of the aspects of it to come up with a plan that would really deal with all the issues, not just part of the issues, but the entire problem. And so what we did is we retraced all the areas that were exposed to damage, the neighborhood here at the Bay Club that we're st standing on, uh, and also a neighborhood you cannot see, but it's immediately to the east of us, and that is a Sea Cove neighborhood. Uh, these properties experienced flooding that went right through the homes. Uh, there was some cliff damage. Uh, there was threat to personal life. In fact, there was a child nearly washed over the, the cliff in that, in that flood. Uh, many properties were flooded. Uh, the properties here at the Bay Club experienced quite a bit of damage, and we actually lost some of the drainage structures. So what we needed to do is to make a comprehensive solution. And today's project we celebrate because it's the entire package. We thought it may only be a partial one that we could afford, but we put all the resources we could together, and we're providing an entire solution to this entire neighborhood complex. But it goes from basically the base of the, the canyon all the way down to the ocean outlet. And really where the ceremony is conducted today is where the new slant drain will be constructed. And that's a device that's going to safely control the flows right to the ocean's edge. Uh, in, the, in this project are a number of innovations, a number of safeguards, and even some aesthetic uh, qualities. Uh, there's going to be some a trail uh, landscaped area that will be part of the uh, Tarragon property. And that will actually serve as a dual role of being a uh, maintenance access road, plus it will be an aesthetic amenity along PV Drive South. So what used to be a problem, we're going to turn back to the neighborhoods as an enhanced community with all the safeguards. So we hope to see this community sleep peacefully and have a real a wonderful time in this location. So we're very, very appreciative of the council re, uh, funded this project. It's a proud day to be here. Very, very much uh, celebrate this event. Thank you. One of the things we had to do at the council level was figure out how we're going to pay for this project. Obviously, our general fund can't pay for all the necessary projects, and I'm so pleased that the voters uh, agreed with us in adopting the uh, storm drain user fee, because while much of this is funded from the general funds, what it's allowed us to do is a lot of the other projects as well as this project, so that we can try to get ahead of the curve uh, to the extent we can and, and really make sure that we don't see this kind of flooding. Hi, I'm Steve Wallowich, and I'm a city council member in the city of Rancho Palos Verdes, and with me is a very important guy, especially when it comes to this, to this particular project, and that's Bill James, and he's the chair of our finance advisory committee. Bill, it's good seeing you here today. Good to see you. Thank you for having us out here. It's a beautiful day. We're lucky. Yeah, it, it is, and we're not, we're not in the heat when we had to break the, um, uh, the ground for doing all this. This, um, this is indeed quite a significant item. Um, you, you wouldn't think that two finance guys would, would take so much pride in all that's gone on here. But quite frankly, it was, um, it was a lot of financial expertise that really helped pave the way, no pun intended, uh, for being able to provide some of the initial funding. Your, your committee has a long history with this. Uh, yeah, the Financial Advisory Committee was very involved in uh, some of the early steps in the storm drain projects in the city of Rancho Palos Verdes. It's been a long time coming. Uh, those of us who were around three or four years ago when the heavy rains came and saw the tremendous amount of damage that could be done uh, are acutely aware of how important it was to get this ball rolling. It's taken a while and uh, a lot of work has gone into it uh, by members of the staff and the city council as well. Uh, and We're all very proud of what we've been able to do and uh, we're looking forward to more openings like this in the future. Actually, this, this particular project is probably the largest single project of construction planned in our city, uh, at least uh, in, in my knowledge of the history. And um, for those of us who were here, as Bill made re reference to, uh, at the time that the, uh, the rains, February 2005, and all the damage that, that occurred from 
um, the overflow from McCarroll Canyon, and it was um, uh, most compelling to see the um, the water damage in the houses and and um, uh, all the way down the the um, what what became the route, and now being able to put the repair work um, in place with that. It's a good thing. It's a good day for the community. It is indeed. Thank you very much. It certainly is a very, very proud day for us in Rancho Palos Verdes uh, because we're here today to do the groundbreaking on a very, very significant public works project, the McCarroll Canyon project. And in many ways, this really symbolizes a new direction for our city. Um, we stood here about three years ago with a few of you, uh, but it wasn't under such a uh, 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 good occasion. It, we were here because of the devastation that we had from the McCarroll Canyon uh, flood that came through here. Um, that was in the, the winter of 2005, and as most of you know, we had real problems. We put our families at risk, our children, uh, homes were damaged, you suffered damage here, the cliff side, uh, and basically we had a real problem that we needed to get a hold of, solve, and solve quickly. So believe it or not, it was on February 20th of 2007, a little over a year ago, that the City Council directed our staff to move forward on this ambitious project, which is designed to protect lives and properties and hopefully address and solve the problem of flooding from McCarroll Canyon. We are now a mere 16 months after that direction, and we have produced a project that's gone from concept to actual construction, which we will commence today. It is, quite honestly, a Herculean achievement, and it's highly innovative, and it provides a comprehensive total solution to meet the goals of the community. And I might point out that when both LA City and LA County were advised of what we were doing, they told us that there was no way we could be at this point a mere 16 months after we directed staff to move this forward, which I think speaks very, very highly of the professional quality of our staff. And Jim Bell, your staff, and our city manager, we thank you because we know the effort you had to make to bring us to this day so quickly, and we appreciate it on the city council. Normally, a project like this would take three years, at least three years, to get to this point. We're here in less than half that time. This project involved the review and the assistance of a lot of different agencies, which I think, as most people know, usually means a lot of time. California Regional Water Quality Board, Department of Fish and Game, California Coastal Commission, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, and the support of the Water Quality Flood Control Protection Committee and the Rancho Palos Verdes Planning Department, as well as the entire City Council. So we really are pleased to be standing here to do this groundbreaking today after such a short period of time. And of course, we have to acknowledge that this project would not be built without the funding that's been provided by the voters themselves, the residents of this city who approved the tax, the, the water quality flood control Pre protection program and the user fee so that we could move these projects forward in real time and achieve some, uh, some significant benefits. So at this point, what I'd like to do is ask that the members of the city council, along with Bill Webster representing uh, the Bay Club and Jim Bell, our Director of Public Works, join me in our symbolic uh, groundbreaking. Thank you.